Hello everybody, welcome back. We are in the frozen wasteland village of Wepkir, and we are do not know what to do. Uh, there's an owl or some kind of animal up there. I'd like to like to take a look at real quick. Look at that. Oh, this looks a lot better when you can see stuff, huh? I want to feed that owl, but for now I must kill. Wait, what? Oh, is that me trying to turn it to daytime? Is that why it's like being weird? Oh, I bet it is. Alright, but yeah, no, seriously. Uh, we came here uh, last week. We uh, did a lot of stuff in the snow area. I explored. A lot of the like the in between between here and coming to the northern lands. Uh, then we got here. We talked to the chief, or at least the the guard of the chief, Mr. Semical. And we're not sure what to do. Uh, none of the doors will open, or at least I haven't tried again. To be fair, since I talked to Semical, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mickle. Wait, I'll say go back to there. He is angry doggo, Mr. Semical. Let us buy a simical. You want us to make you? This is extraordinary power in this white wolf. If you do not heed my warning, I'll devour you where you stand. Now be on your way. Oh, so what is the see? Come on, Ami. I've had it with this village. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so maybe I'm just supposed to leave. I guess Isun, usually the person who tells me what to do every two seconds, says leave. But let's see if leaving is the answer. Yo, we got fire here, though. Yeah. Oh, daytime. I, I always get... I'm never ready. I'm never ready for the freaking the, the time transitions. Ah! Aha! Kai! Hey, wait! Huh? Doggy! You guys, wait up! Well, I'll be! I've seen you in ages! Hey, soon it is you! It's... Thought I heard you talking to Simical. I'm gonna assume by the high pitched, like, sim similes, like, voice it gives to his dog. That it's a female, but you know, it, it did be like that sometimes. I just thought I'd come back and see how things were after my trip. I can't believe what's happened to the village since I've been gone, and that Samikel's still as stubborn as ever. Look at he become chief. Well, a lot's happened this past year. Look, you'll freeze if you stay outside too long. Why don't you come back to my place and bring your white wolf too? Brr. At least the cold is a bit more bearable inside. The age is hasn't an Isu. And it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance as well, Wolfie. I'm a Kai. Okay, yeah, so I figured. It was a woman. She got a freaking like deer mask though. She's a Matarasu, otherwise known as No Bath Ami. Wow, that's kinda rude. Let's go to the chase. There's so much I wanna ask you. First of all, about those demons that are plaguing Kamui? Oh, the music stopped. Oh. What the heck brought that on? No one knows for certain. These twin demons, Let's Q and Net's Q. Dude, they look sick! Freaking like owls made of gears and clocks and stuff. They look awesome! They were sealed away by the brave Oena heroes years and years ago. And they have been enshrined at the Wa Wa Waku? Waku? Wa Waku? I'm just gonna say Waku. But I'm just gonna kind of ignore that second W. The Waku Shrine ever since. And one day they suddenly stirred and went berserk. A terrible blizzard descended upon Kamui. Oh, is that the chief and Samikul? Kimu set out for the shrine at the top of Isofuji to pacify them. 
They nearly killed him. He was no match for their evil magic. Timiko managed to get him, get to him just in time to bring him back. And they got an even more violent and turned Issa Fuji into a glacier. They unleashed a blizzard to smother Kamui in a layer of ice and snow. Chief Samikul is trying to protect the village while Kimi recovers. But there's nothing we can do against those demons. They really are to fix if old man Kimu's prayers didn't work. The day before the twin demons suddenly went berserk, we heard what sounded like an earthquake from Shinsu Field to the south. On that fateful day, Kimu declared that the evil force from the south had made its way here to Kamui. Kimu is sometimes called the land of hidden darkness, and there's a legend that says all demons are born from this land. I wonder if all the world's demons are coming back to Kamui now. A black shadow passed overhead from the south recently and vanished into the wa wa Waku Shrine as if it had been swallowed up. Actually, I think the blizzard has been stronger since then. Continue. Kai, there's something else I want to ask you. What's Oki doing with the sacred sword Kutone? I saw him with it outside the village. I wonder if it's Kutone or Kutone. Knowing, like... Japanese usuals, it'd be Kutone. But I kinda like saying Kutone, I don't know. Anyway. How could old man Kimu let him take it at a time like this? Oh! You met Oki? You have to. Music just out of nowhere, kinda banging. You left here with our secret sword the morning after it all started. Oh, that's why, okay. You know, Birdman. As soon as Sumiko was chosen to take Kimi's place as chief, Oki just took the sword and left without permission. People from the village have tried to persuade him to bring it back. But Oki chases him off as he as he says to defeat the demons himself. Just walked away with the sacred sword? He didn't even ask permission? Well everyone admits Oki's a great warrior. Even Sumiko does. But it's impossible to defeat those demons all by himself. I just don't know why he did it. Now of all times. And? I'm not saying Kai, it's Buster Mikkel. He seems awfully nervous about protecting old man Kimu. It's because of Oki, isn't it? Well, everyone's angry at Oki for taking the sword like that. But you see, well, Sumiko will never say it, but he believes in Oki more than anyone else does. He's convinced Oki will come back and help the village. But then why'd they have to snap at us like that? He even told Furball he had to get lost. Well, the day after the village was attacked by the demons, Lika went missing. Who the heck is that? Lika? Is it Lika? You are... That's right, my little sister. We scoured the village and the surrounding area, but we couldn't find her. She just vanished. Not poor little Lika, too. Why are those demons us with a little girl like that? I don't know for sure if the demons are behind her disappearance, but they would certainly have a reason to seek her out. You see Lika? Lika holds the fate of this village in her hands! Ah, she has ice magic, probably, I bet. Fate of this village? Oh, it's Kimu's howl! Kimu. Kimu. Who's Kimu? He's calling you soon. He's summoning to both of you. Oh, wait, Kim. Duh. Kimu's the chief. We just said his name like 40 times. Alright. I'm guessing Lika has ice power. That's like, that's the thing. I bet. Have I? I don't think I have. That's right, I'm out of like all my food. I need this freaking merchant shop to open back up. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Your chief wants to see me, you freaking loser. What, you still got a bumper with us or something? The altar summons the white wolf to his home. You may answer. Well, it's about time. I'm out of my way, chump. <laughs> oh my god. Hello? This is the village elder, old man Kimu, but I think he might have already kicked the bucket. <laughs> He's dead. Oh no. How many times is Gramps here? Ten my high. Wow, this is no time to be judging at the past. Yay! What was that bad mouthing me? 
Looks like there are some highs to be tanned. Oh no. Gotta run. Uh... Oh! Oh! Hit me with that spin move. Yo, he's trying to break my ankles. Yo, yo, yo. no! Wait, what is... Am I supposed to hit him? Is that the... Bonk. Huh? What happened? What a dream? Was I sleepwalking again? Jeez, old oh man, snoozing a lot, tans hides in his sleep too. Why is that little Lee soon? So then I wasn't dreaming. Dude, why why do they have to give him jiggle physics? What the heck? Up here, village elder Kimu. Thought I heard some nickel talking to someone outside. I must say, you should you've grown. Really at all since I last saw <laughs> I like this guy. I'll put a cork in the grips. Do someone else just because just cause you wanted someone to clobber? Ah yes, let us get down to business, eh? It is the white wolf I wish to speak with. You've no doubt already heard this from Kai, but my little sister Lika has gone missing. Yeah, we know about that. She disappeared about the time the demon started running her mic. That's right! And her disappearance threatens the very existence of our village. Dude, why do they always gotta stop after saying garbage like that? Why? They just continue. Please don't make people still collecting these cheesy stuff like this. Break in your house because you stop. I hope you realize. Oh, that's a cool like. Can I? Oh, I can't. Alright, is that big pot breakable? Oh. Nice. Alright. Kai said something like that too. I can see why you'd be worried. But don't you think you're exaggerating a bit? No, we are not exaggerating. Besides, you have been gone so long, how could you possibly know? Lika has gained spiritual power far beyond my own. Her power is now the key to saving the land of Kamui. Huh? Are you saying Lika's power can defeat those demons? Not exactly, there is another reason we need her power. It is for Iso Fuji, the protector deity of Kamui. It's a Fuji? As you know, Iso Fuji is formed from two active volcanoes. Oh, can she like activate them? I guess trigger them? Each year I recite the volcanic incantation. That triggers an eruption that warms the switching land of Kamui. The demon's power is plunging so Fuji into an icy slumber. Day by day, Kamui grows weaker and weaker, colder and colder. If you don't have Lika to set the volcanic incantation soon, the land of Kamui will become an icy tomb for us all. Why don't you just reset the incantation yourself, old man? I would if I could, but I no longer have the strength to pray in this raging blizzard. An idea where Lika could be? That's the problem. We search high and low for that girl with no luck. Still, there is one place we have left to look. Where? Yosh, Yosh Pet? Oh, ooh, a new forest. Yosh Pet, a mysterious forest of deception. Gold. Oh. Got a faint whiff of Lika's emanating from Yosh Pet. After all, I do have the cutest nose of all of Uina tribe. I suspect she could be somewhere around here on your map. Wow. Alright. I'd like you to conduct a thorough search of that forest. Gotta be kidding me. I wouldn't touch that place with a 10 foot pole. Oh, wow, Wolf, you are our last hope. Not me? Chief Samiko must remain here and protect the villagers. And Oki has left the village on some fool's errand. You're the only one left? Hold on a minute, old man. Do you even know who this furball is? Do not mock me, a little sprite. That pure white coat, those crimson markings, and that divine instrument. This is none other than the legendary wolf, Shirinu. That name was known far and wide, even in this distant land of Kabui. But I never dreamed the legendary wolf yet lives. Well, actually, this year is. Shiranui, please, you must help us. Lika must reset the volcanic incantation soon. Without her, the land of Kamui will become an icy tomb. I beg you, you must find Lika. I have warned the villagers to be wary of strangers. But I will make a special exception for you. And I will open the village's far gate that leads to Loachi Lake. You should, let, you should get what you need from the village before you set out. Alright, cool. So. I can now shop, because if I can shop, then I can get food for the animals.
Alright, so we can now go to a lake for whatever reason. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. So now go to that lake. Don't know why. And I just gotta go to the forest. There's Cynical, I guess this is his house. Yes. That's where that stubborn fox. Stubborn fox. Stubborn ox, Chief Cynical lives. Alright, I'm not super interested in going to everyone's house, to be honest. Other than maybe this one. This one looks kinda cool. Kai. Oh! Let's see where Kai and Lika live. Never mind, I've already been here. Sheep, I will feed you soon. This is. Snowball Playground. Hmm, such messy riding. Let's spend some kids for you. Interesting. This one's different, so I must check it out. Hundred minutes. Woohoo! I've been playing in the snow and trying to make a big snowball. It got bigger, bigger than I planned, though. All the grown-ups complain about the snow, but we kids love being outside. It doesn't matter how cold it is. Why don't you try making a big snowball too, Wolfie? I'm only a kid, so that's the biggest I can manage. You're bigger than me, so you should be able to do better. Just keep on rolling that one there. Make it really, really huge. Uh, okay. Am I supposed to hit it into these other blobs? I have to make it stay away from the fire, I'm guessing. How big it's supposed to be? Oh, a treasure. Treasure. <laughs> Dude, I wonder if I can get the snowball so big that I can like break these snowmen into it. Can't really turn that well. You can drift it a little bit, but not really. Let me go back to the kids, see if this is okay enough. Yo, make it bigger! If you're over, over lumps of snow, go really fast. You're bigger than me, so you should be able to make it huge. Okay... I hope this is for something. Oh, here we go. If I can... Ah, uh, okay. The camera angle ought to make this a little easier. No way it wants me to get every last thing though, right? Like Is it spawning more? I think it might be making more snow. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm really scared to get close to these fires. But I don't know, like, how close I can get, you know? 